Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox and take a close up look at the New Balance 720. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So in this box is a pair of New Balance 720 lifestyle shoes. And this pair is in the UK size 9, US size 9.5, EU size 43. And it's in the marble head with Neo Crimson colorway. And now let's go ahead and open up the box by lifting up the box lid to reveal the contents inside and just going to set the paperwork to the side and let's peel back the packing paper to reveal the New Balance 720 in the marble head with Neo Crimson colorway and let's remove the right shoe as well as the left shoe from the box packaging and setting the box to the side and let's focus on the left shoe first so these shoes or this pair is in the UK size 9 US size 9 and half EU size 43 so taking an all round look around the shoe And let's do a 360 rotation so you have a complete view of this New Balance 720 in the marble head with Neo Crimson colorway. And let's take a close up look at the details. So you can see the upper cover has a suede mud guard around the forefoot or toe area and it does have a vinyl main surface along with the oversized New Balance M logo and you can see that the vinyl is segmented with some white or silver stitching and moving towards the back of the shoe, there is a dark grey suede heel counter. As you can see, it goes right across and around the heel. And taking a look from the top down, you can see that suede panel around the eye stays and as you can see the midsole has a dual color design with the neo crimson and white lower layer and the midsole or the outsole of the shoe or bottom of the shoe is in the marble head or grey colour with a herringbone type tread pattern so taking a look from the front to the back so we can see that rubber outsole that goes all the way towards the kind of top of the toe and moving towards the back and you can see that it does have traditional lacing and the New Balance patch on the tongue and taking a look inside the shoe and of course at the back of the tongue as well so the tongue has very light padding as you can see it isn't very thick at all and taking a look at the back label And inside the shoe, 
but let's remove the stuffing inside. to give you a clearer look inside the shoe. And around the ankle collar, there is some very, very light padding. And taking a look at the back of the shoe to give you some idea of the shape. And once again, taking a look at the close-up details of the various, various types of finishes with the panels, as you can see over here, does have a very finely grain textured could be faux leather heel clip and of course we have the very finely woven vinyl panels and once again we see that similarly textured oversized end logo to that of the heel clip and of course there is the suede mud guard around the forefoot area around the toes So you can see that the grey on the vinyl has a slight shimmering type effect, very slight. And pressing on the midsole, it is pretty, pretty firm as you can see right there, pressing with a significant amount of pressure with my thumb. There is hardly any give at all to the material of the midsole, which is foam. And taking a look at the sole of the shoe again, but this time in much closer up detail, you can see that very consistent herringbone pattern on the tread and to give you some idea of the hardness or softness of the material that of which is rubber and you can see as I drag my fingertip across the surface and pressing down on it as well to give you some idea of the hardness with just some simple fingertip pressure. And the heel, there is a wavy type groove around the back portion of the shoe. And now let's do a flex bend and twist test with my hands to give you some idea of the movement of the shoe. In regards to its flexibility or stiffness. Okay, now let's take a look at the right foot side or right shoe. So setting the left shoe down and now looking at the right shoe. So once again, giving you a complete or on look at the right shoe. Now 
now let's do a 360 rotation. So you have a full aspect in terms of the design of the shoe overall from all angles. And once again, taking a look up close at the complete construction of the shoe and its various parts with the various panels, with the suede, vinyl, suede again, and then suede on the heel counter. And we do have the kind of full leather with the N as well as the heel clip. Once again, let's do a twist and bend test to give you some idea of how this shoe moves or responds. And now let's take a look at the pair together. So the New Balance 720 in the marble head with Neo Crimson colorway in the UK size 9, US size 9.5, EU size 43. So that's the New Balance 720 in the Marblehead with Neo Crimson colorway. Thanks for watching and happy walking!